Marito, tú sabes que en la vida a veces las cosas se ponen apretadas y uno tiene que acostumbrarse cuando las cosas tengan apretadas. Mámate uno. ¿Tú me estás entendiendo? Porque si tú no lo aguantas apretada, ¿me escuchas? ¿Tú me entiendes? Me, me, me leasing. Yo te escucho, yo te escucho con toda la venida. Espérate, vamos a aprender esta juga primero antes de comenzar la vaina. Oh, voy a tener no, tre- seis horas, horas, te mato, te mato, voy a tener seis. With every single, with every single bit of Diddy, <laughs> every single bit of Diddy that was I, on that bitch, I, let that shit out. Bit of Diddy is cr- every bit of Diddy is <laughs> crazy. That is crazy. That is crazy. I don't even every, know what I said, but no every, Diddy. Though. Every tiny bit. <laughs> you can fast forward that shit. Facts. It's crazy. Wow. You can pause me. Time lapse that. time. Put that shit in 4K. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy as fuck. Yo, I got my dog. You're in the line. Yeah, I'm recording, bro. Seguro. It's, no, it's, esto, esto, la juca. No, oh, no, no, está prendiendo. Ah, entonces, ¿qué es lo que tú estás hablando, Mildad? Ok, vamos, vamos, dale, vamos, dale. Está ready. Estás está fumando que tiene que. Oh. Damas y caballeros. Niños y niñas. Bienvenidos Bien, a Pasa más caliente más fuerte del mundo. mundo. Que es lo que tú dices. ¡Por el aplauso! Yes, sir. Eh, bate, 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 bate. La gente está ahí atrás. ¡Aplauso, aplauso, aplauso! Tenemos aquí... Hey, hey, tenemos mucha gente aquí hoy. Hey, yo, 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 tenemos aquí un señor, un caballero, que es productor de aquí de New Jersey. Productor de música. Un tigre... Bacanísimo, muchísimo talento. Hey, hay veces que se pone a, a cantar. Se ¿Cómo? Dos o tres cantaditos. Heavy. Cantadito bacano. Heavy. No flow Anuel. No, no, no. <risa> no me no mencioné. Tú sabes que yo me pongo, me voy en una con Anuel. Dale que ass cheeks. Uh, Damn. Tenemos aquí a mi hermanito, mi hermano del alma. Me, me. What's good, my brother? What's good? Not much, man. I'm, I'm just happy to be here checking in with y'all, man. For that sure. Do, that do. Don't be, you, know, you don't have to be all media prepared and shit for this shit. I'm we, good, We, we balling here. Nigga, 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 yo. Nigga, 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 Name, my brother. My name is uh, very simple. Spanish shit, man. Manuel. Manuel. Or Manny, whatever. I don't like the Manny. Don't call me. Don't not call him. Why why don't you like the Manny? Manny. Because that shit just sound crazy. Manny. Oh, yeah, Manny. I got Bobby. (laughs) (laughs) Acho Bobby. Acho Bobby, Manny. Acho Manny. Acho (laughs) Manny. (laughs) The the Manuel, they fuck it up too, bro. Manuel be going crazy. How can you fuck up Manuel? The Manuelito, they be oh, they, calling oh, me oh, oh, Huevo, all this shit. There's yeah, nothing oh, yeah, 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 about yeah. this nigga. This nigga, come yeah, on, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. These are names that como que, hay cierto apodo como Facts. que no caen. No, no, que, que me diga a mí, diga a Damiancito, ¿de a dónde? Yeah, nah. No, diga Cripincito, ¿de a dónde? Yo soy el largo de todos lados, po. They're going to hey. add Ito to your name ASAP. Yeah, right? exactly. All the time. You know, you, know, you know the Hispanic people, especially Dominicans, tienen, tienen esto que... They find like your most like insecure thing and they'll make that as like a nickname. Oh, hey, cabezón, ¿cómo tú estás, cabezón? It's like, damn, my nigga. Cabeza. Oreja. Facts. You know, the niggas that have their ears that like mad open and shit. Oreja, ¿qué lo que? My man's all here like, damn. Like, Manuel, entonces, man. Manuel. 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 When, when, did, when, did, when, did, when did you start producing because obviamente there's some producer. When did you start as, producing? Be, sorry, before we get there, like what brought you into the producing right like what motivated because like i feel like that's like it's such i always said like that's like a like a weird route to go like into music yeah. right like producing is like did you just off the bat wanted to be a producer or did you go into music like what was your route to starting producing so basically what happened was i was in the military so i was okay. coming back and forth from virginia to jersey and one of my guys benji's he's actually up here in, in the audience uh he was trying to like start some sort of like rapping Like, he was trying to start rapping and and figure his way out, and he was doing his shit at home. So when I go and chill and shit, when I came back, you know, from Virginia, I'll be in New Jersey, I'll I'll post up at his crib, and he'll be like, one time he actually ended up telling me, it was back in 2016, Mm. he was like, yo, I think you should try to make beats for me. 
You know, I take it. I take it. I took it as a joke. I feel like I bet, but boom! I already had a computer. I loaded up the program, and once I I bounced that first beat out, when I started like you know cooking up and shit at home, when I got back to Virginia too, like that shit just hit me different. Like, and I just fell in love with it. That's what happened. Like, nice, 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 nice. nice. I, are you are you a Fruity Loops like yeah, starter? I felt gang all day. Okay, all day. okay. El Fruity, el Fruity de Lu. Sí, yo me porque yo me recuerdo. Hey, ¿tú, eres, ¿Tú vas a estar el Fruity de Lu? <laughs> no, se recuerda que los, los, los tigres los tigres bajaban el Fruity Loop de LimeWire. Sí. Nah, para robarse los codes y la vaina para poder y Pirate Bay. 300 computadoras que más. Exactly. Yo, <laughs> all the viruses downloaded. No computers work, nigga. <laughs> But like your computer has a virus. Now, as a producer, right? What you know? What has been like? I guess the you know, what what has kept you, um, you know, doing it, right? Because I feel like a lot of people can start doing things, but not everybody kind of stays in them, right? So, but what has kept you doing this? And like, you know, what do you think of the trajectory that you've shown? All right. So I think what's kept me going is just like the different life changes since I started making music. It's kind of just like built this internal fire that I have and like I put it into everything I do. So like all that extra steps I take, you know, I would say specifically speaking about like my son, mm. you know, when my son was born. You know, what I mean, that's automatic motivation. Um, and right before my son was born, you know, my dad passed away yes. was in 2018. And from that moment on, I, it was full gas pedal. Like I made a promise to him. R.I.P. to dad. You know what I'm saying? El, el tipo está metiendo mano. Señor, wait. Está metiendo mano el tipo. Ya te mi. <laughs> no, para que esté pa orgulloso. Sabe que lo que es. El tipo está metiendo mano. He knows what's up. He knows what's good. The big dog. Facts. <laughs> Now, um, and I, I guess in a more technical side, right? Um, Ahí va. Someone who produces, right? How do you know when you're, something is well produced, something is not produced at all? And like, how do you go into certain, how do you learn you know, what are certain beats for certain genres? Like, how how does that come to you? And, like, if you had to tell some, like, teach someone how to do that, how, how would that go? So I feel like that happens over time. Like, you just hear so much music, you absorb so much music, and, like, the artist's flow or their cadence, the style of beat they pick. What, the, what, does, what does that mean? What does that mean? All right, so to break it down, like, the artist's cadence, like, how they're going to ride a certain beat. Let's say, for example... I'm trying to think of a song. All right, let me let, let me say like Tiger Taste, right? Mm -hmm. You see how it's a West Coast beat. You already know West Coast beat, and then the way he's he's doing the hook is like he's punching, but he's not like on it, like putting metiéndole barra cada barra. It's like a pocket. So once you learn those pockets over time, you can hear music and kind of relate them. Like, oh, this will sound good with this. This will sound good with this. So that's like pockets and cadences and stuff like that. And you learn it over time. It's not something that you. Watch a video, y ya tu sabes todo. You gotta experience the music. You gotta live in the music. Feel me? Okay. So, and, and I'm asking all these questions because I feel like I would like to, like, one day maybe produce the beat. Oh, my um, goodness. <laughs> this right? nigga wanna do so, everything. So, we're talking bro. about cadence and we're talking about pockets. Nigga, it's, 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 I told you, I have like this. I have this factor in my I head. I hate this I, okay. nigga right here. I hit me out. I have this factor <laughs> in my head, right? The I could do it all. Right, mm -hmm. so when I see something like, how hard can it really be? Like that's that's really my thought process. Every and on everything, right? Which mm -hmm. is it's a good and a bad thing. Um, but we're talking about pockets and we're talking about cadences, right? Like, you know, how does someone identify what a pocket is? Right? Is there a specific time frame for a pocket? Right? And then on cadences is like, you know, can every cadence fall within these, you know, four or eights? Right? And do some people not fall in there but still sound good? If that makes any sense. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's, there's, there's plenty of, um, I would say, examples of that. Like, you got, like, when Blueface first came out, he had his offbeat shit. Um, you got dudes like Rumble, where they, it's like a different style. But, like, the beats, if someone from the east side of, of the country jumps on it versus somebody from the west side, it's like, it's a different style. So, cadence is really style. The pockets are created by the production. Like, mm. and it's naturally, it's naturally there when you make the beat. Like, if you're a producer and you don't make beats with pockets, that means your beat has you're too flat. much going on. And it's it flat, no space too. And it's flat, yeah. So, that's so, how it goes. So, producer purposely put in these pockets for what reason? It's so, not, that, so that the beat can hit harder? It's or? not a voluntary thing. It's just a, like a how rhythm. the beat goes. Like a rhythm thing. Remember how we how, remember how we tell the artists that come here and they show us a song and we're like, yo, you're missing something. You're missing, like, something to get out. Like extend and then come back down yeah. same shit 
It just be like how the snare bounces off the kick, how the kick bounces off the eight oh eight, or how the hi hats. Manito, tú estás tú estás hablando de la hablaste en chino. En chino me hablaste. En Jackie Chan le hablaste. De Bruli. The instruments, the instruments. Okay, okay so pero instruments. entonces check out. Entonces so I'm I'm gonna put you on the spot right now. I'm putting you on the spot. Right how does yeah. how how does a snare sound? Alvaro. Okay, yeah, I know what that is. Okay, uh, uh, qué lo que el el eight oh eight. I hear everybody talk about that. I like that. Like All right. it, it's, the, eh. it's the what you feel. So it's like the bass. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. And what was the other one you said? I said kick and hi-hat. What the hell is a kick and a hi-hat? Kick, kick is what you feel in your chest. Boom. Boom. It depends what type of style of music, what type of kick you're going to use. You so I mean? the combination of these things is what does... The pockets. Creates pockets. If you got space in your, in your production, it creates pockets. Take away some stuff, put them back in. Yep. The way it's formulated allows the artist to really get creative on how they create their cadence. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Interesante. And, and the hey, los tigres están aprendiendo. Si tú no sabías, están aprendiendo. Ve. Valse yo, sucio. Yo, yo, hago, yo hago la pregunta para que la gente aprenda. ¿Tú me estás entendiendo? Eh, estamos aquí. Estamos tiempo, estamos tiempo ya. Estamos en deporte. Una vez, dale deporte, deporte. Dina, ve. Eh, right. Man, ve, this is how this works. Okay. Yeah, this is how it works. You have three lives, which All is right. three shots, right? Okay. If you get it right, we don't drink. If you get it wrong, we take a shot. Obviously, every card counts for the amount of cards that you use, which is why people have 10. So they got seven right, three wrong. So it's 10. Okay. Right? A lot of people go three and oh. Y hablamos el malte. In and out. Nice and quick. Tú me entiendes. <laughs> we do these separately. So we're going to do one now. If you get it right, we don't drink. And then we just keep going. We go with the keep going with the podcast. If we get it wrong, we drink and then we keep going with the podcast. Ah, okay? Ah. So let's go. Manito, tú estás feo para la foto. Hey, mama. Which former NBA player had a starting role in the 1980 <laughs> comedy movie called Airplane? A. Moses Malone. B. Kareem Abdu uh, Abdul. 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 Jabbar. Jabbar. Or C, Magic Johnson. Fuck. Uh, fuck is right. <laughs> chan, 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 chan. Fuck is I'm right. I'm going to go with uh, Magic Johnson. It's Seguro. C, Magic Johnson, your final answer? Yes. Vamos a ver. Hey, listen to me. I, I told you. Yo, yo, you, you were talking a hell of shit. Like, oh, trivia? Like, I got this. I got trivia this. Oh, nah, trivia, nah, I got this. Nothing. Oye, ahí, para que vaya, para que vaya caminando. Ahora, espérate, espérate, mamá, espérate, tú no puedes ver. Aguanta. We do a bring this every single time. We claro, go. claro, claro, claro. Vamos a ver tuyo. Déjame el paso. So, ¿para qué tú? Va con gusto ahí. Eh. I don't get the right answer, though, right? Huh? I don't get the right answer. I just told you. What? Kareem. Oh, damn. Yeah, Kareem was in. It's because I thought he was too serious to be in a movie. That's why I didn't say it. <laughs> I don't blame you. I would have done it. Ojalá and your, your new... Plans and whatever, you, and whatever you're working towards becomes successful. Y que lejísimo. Salud, 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 salud. Semilla la vaca, coño. Mamé, vamos para atrás ahora. Pause. <laughs> no diddy. No diddy. No diddy. I'm down for real. <laughs> no diddy. Let's go back in time. Where were you born, bro? I was born in Patterson, New Jersey. Patterson, New Jersey. Silk City, baby. Tu familia es dominicana. Dominican and Puerto Rican. You've been to DR? Yep. Like for a summer times. or for like, oh, I went for a week. No, nah, I went for, one time I went for a month, yeah. For a de, month. De, de you were a kid or you were a I was a kid. Aha, ahora que estamos, ahora sí estamos. Te deportan, por bueno. Te deportan por bueno. They always threaten to leave me there, though. My family. Yeah, por bueno, por bueno, por bueno, por bueno. Por bueno, por bueno. Por este te va a quedar aquí con mamá. Facts. Okay, question. When you were in DR, with a little group of Dominican friends, a group of Dominican delinquents, right? ¿Qué hicieron ustedes? What did you guys do that got you an ass whooping that you still remember to the day? <laughs> and if it didn't happen to you, you can tell me one in Patterson because you still got that ass whooping. I know that for a fact. Who's, you who's, who's Dominican? Your daddy or mom? My mom. Oh, yeah, you got that. Oh, ass you whooping. definitely sure. no questions asked. <laughs> Yo, he laughed because he remembered a few right now. He, he, he remembered a few well, right now. He, he was like, like he, damn. He, he remembers that one, too. Nah, I know exactly. I know. <laughs> Everybody remembers that one. Because so, there's always that one. I want you I want you to elaborate, like, 
the what the happened, pre, the, situation? the pre whooping, the during the whooping, the after whooping. Like, uh, yep. I want to hear so everything. It was my. It was like some sort of celebration. I think it was because we were all there as a family, and they had a perico ripiao. They had paid the guys to come through. The fucking cousin did the bullshit. Yo, and then it was me and my cousins fucking around playing gallina know. ciega. Ooh, oh wow. wow. <laughs> yo, yo, I had bro. years without hearing that. That's crazy. Ooh, That's shit. Insane. Bro, so we were doing that shit and like you know how we you you'll play that shit for like 15, 20 minutes, you get bored. So they thought it was cool to get up on the roof. You know, DR is easy to get up on the roof of the house. And tell me how we were playing with buckets up there. We didn't know one of the buckets had water. And we dropped it on the whole band. Of the <gasps> fucking Federico Ripiao, nigga. No way. Diablo, que maldita pela, bro. And dude. all I heard, I heard psh, the water splash. Wait, yeah. ¿Qué, qué pasó? Hey, you hear the accordion get fucked up. Wait, wait. Wait. No. <laughs> They're plugged into amps and everything, bro. <gasps> they, you fucked up Yo. everything. And then you know how Dominican moms are, like, y que fue, y mm -hmm. que fue. Like, they start screaming at us. We run. You think we're you have a middle name? Away. You have a middle name? Nah, I don't. You don't have a middle name? What's your last name? Rosario. Manuel Rosario! Word. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they give the government out? It's over, dog. dog I've never seen my grandma so mad. Like, Oh, shit. But we was trying to run down the stairs. We, you know in DR, the Try. backs, the steps outside, mm -hmm. they're not wood and they're metal. Dude. Bro, we all slipped with the water, all slipped down the stairs. Busting our ass down the stairs. So you bust your ass first. Then you get your ass busted out. We, we slid crazy. down to the ass whooping. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy, bro. Yeah, they stick it, bro. And it was my mom, aunts, and my grandmother. Everybody Damn, was you got, they, they got the They, they got, got the, jumped. They, they got, got jumped, jumped, bro. <laughs> they got jumped. Mira, muchacho, el diablo. Y ahorita me... Yo, te dije... A ti... No. I, yo, I hate yo. That's the one thing. Those don't, syllable, those syllable those hits. Syllab those syllable, those syllable hits are crazy. Nigga, fuck. Like yo, can you finish the sentence already? Like I'm, like I'm hurting over here. Like come on. Do, no, ding, <laughs> ding, ding. Word. No. And the shower Look, come right after. And, oh my god, the, the shower. Sh the shower come right after. Fuck out of here, nah, bro. Damn, but you, y'all niggas just ran. That's wild. I, I don't think. I don't Who's think that I was... cousin? Name him. Blame that nigga. Yo, Juan. Juan Asaroso. <laughs> 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 Yo, we got uh, so many ass whoopings. Me and that dude, freaking Juan, my cousin Moses. It's a bunch of them, bro. And they all around New York here. Like, that's what it's all y'all. It's your fault. Bro. Man, man, don't do shit. He's a good kid. Well, he nah, was, I was a the good one kid. laughing. Always get caught laughing. I'm the laughing nigga. So when I would laugh, they'll hit me harder. Oh, tu te riendo. <laughs> I hate yo, that. I hate yo, that. he was the one that yo the ass whooping is not for him, but he started laughing. Oh, tú te estás riendo, man, tú también. You get, you get that shit too. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> Terrible. Um, so talking yeah. about like growing up, right? Like you know, you know, what do you think is the the pros of like growing up in a city like Patterson and like you know and like when it comes to like your like you know what you're doing today, you know how has that helped you? You know, be the the producer that you are. I feel like it helps me like blend in well and understand different cultures because although i'm dominican and puerto rican i grew up in a majority like african-american mm. uh location city. of the city i lived in the projects i lived on market street i mean park ave and 10th ave so those are all different type of like habitats bro for yeah. overall yeah. like you know what i mean even i know like you go places like newark they got different sections mm -hmm. and patterson is a lot more condensed mm. you go from one block to another and you in somebody else's hood, like, so like being able to experience all that as a kid and being able to walk around the city, like I could go anywhere and I know how things move around. You okay. know what I mean? I catch on quick. So, sure. dope, dope. Hey, hey. tiempo. Musica. No, it's a musica. This is an easy one for him. You have to get this right. You're a producer, You're bro. Pro you get this wrong, we get two shots. Like oh, this is the, he's getting serve him, serve him. I got no hopes in him. Serve him. God damn, like that? For sure. No, no questions asked. Anybody want any uh, over over and under on this? Anybody over and under? Want to bet on this shit? Uh, anybody want to bet on this? Ooh, what, what, you, over? You're going to over you like... He's going to get it right? He's going to get it right? Over, he's going to get it right? Over, he's going to get it right? All right, so get uh, the Tito's. Y'all niggas all yeah, yeah, get, yeah, take the Tito's. Take the Tito's on that side. Take the Tito's on that side. Is the Tito's si, si queda. Ching, queda ching. All right, here we go. Yeah, I'll take your shots if we get to wrong. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just remember that I said the under, right? Uh, no, right, no, I'm cool. an under too, because that shit crazy. What band 
Is Phil Collins a member of? Mm-hmm. A, Asia. B, Genesis. C, Pink Floyd. Sílvelo ya, manito, sílvelo. Pink Floyd. Huh? Pink Floyd. Is C, Pink Floyd, your final answer? Yes. Eh, beba. Salud, salud, mi gente. Damn. B, Genesis, B, Genesis. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> El diablo. Salud. Eh... Damn man, all of them damn mix tutorials. I should be I'll be watching music history instead. Hopefully, boy, hopefully uh, oh, you have a you have a concert coming soon. Yeah. Hopefully that should be successful. Yeah, and we sure. have a lot of fun because I'm about to be in that bitch too. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Sure. 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 Salute. 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 Yeah, bro. Ooh, you yeah. know, my mate, I'm doing Estaba tirando malo tú, bro. Estaba tirando malísimo, bro. Hey, you know what? Maybe, maybe he'll get the movie one. Uh, hablando hablando de, del concierto talking about the concert um, mm -hmm. what's the concept behind the concert and, and what are you guys working towards so man the concept for the concert is on the 28th by the way uh, at the Williams Center in Rutherford um, it's not my show mm. but my section of the show my set of the show is going to be really focused on showing versatility and what basically I'm able to bring together you mm. know what I mean with the people part of my team other producers and artists and stuff like that. And my goal is to eventually throw my own concert, concert okay. where I have all the artists that I work with because this is really abbreviated. It's going to be really abbre abbreviated, but very, very well put together. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So that's the, the, the goal is to ultimately make the event bigger. Okay, what what artists are you taking over here? So I'm taking um, Naughty Peso, which is an undiscovered artist um, from Patterson. She hasn't dropped any music. Um, but we've been in the studio and we've been in the lab for the last couple months building up. Uh, I got, you know, my blood cousin, you know what I mean? Rebel Nell. He's going to come up there and, and do his thing. And we, we, we're putting together a lot of things. So I know that, you know what I mean? He's just going to keep growing as an artist. And then I got uh, Jay Luminari, which is, you know what I mean? One of the guys that has impressed me as of recently with his music, his versatility. So we have, we have big plans, man. We're going to just keep building, keep creating. Jay de los míos. Jay es personal de la casa. Él paga renta aquí. Ya, es que paga renta aquí. Casi, casi él paga renta aquí. I heard he owe ya an interview too. Sí, hace rato. Bro, listen to me. Yo, para que tú entiendas, yo conozco a Jay. Yo conozco a Jay when Jay was in high school. Yeah, I coached him. I coached him. I coached him in baseball. He was good. Nah, he was good. 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 He wasn't the best hitter, but he was. He was. Damn, do him like that. <laughs> nah, but keep it cheap. He knows. He knows. Yeah, he knows the vibe. Nigga, you are. <laughs> I, I, I'm not you gonna lie on my boy's ass, name. Nigga. I'm not. No, no, no. Hey, no. But wait, wait, no. He came clutch. He came clutch for a lot of times for me. So that's my guy. Um, but you were talking about, you know, um, an artist who hasn't released music, right? What would you say is the proper steps for someone who is trying to be an artist, right? And what would be the the first step in releasing music, and how should they do it? I think the the first step is just no understanding what needs to be registered. You know what I mean? As what does that as, mean? So like as far as like how to get paid, which ways to get paid, and how to properly release the music and register the appropriate people that are good, that need parts of the record. You know what I mean? Are mm. you talking about like the uh, the the splits uh, between the it's writer it's producer registering themselves to get paid for mechanical royalties uh, and just understanding the music business portion. Of releasing music because creating the music is one thing. Putting it out, you have to do it a certain way to make sure that you get what what's entitled to you. You mm. know what I mean? And what is that way? So first of all, you gotta register to PRO. You know ASCAP. what's PRO? That's a performance right or, or organization. So basically, they handle they they basically handle collecting your royalties from mechanical stuff, which would be like radio spins, streams, and stuff like that from like. Uh, what you call it? like online radios? It's like more like performances too. Like if you perform at Rolling Loud or at whatever La Mega, you know things okay. like that. So that handles that side, but it also is like kind of like your driver's license for music. If you don't have that. Ooh, that's a good. Nothing. That's a good analogy. You know what I mean? You, you that's your license to make music, and a lot of people don't have it set up. They just drop shit a lo loco, and don't okay. be accounting for their shit. Okay, so if I'm an artist, I do this PRO, um, I do all my setups, right? Mm -hmm. I have my catalog set, right? Now, let's say this EP that I'm going to release, right? What would you recommend me as an artist to do first before I release my EP? So do, do first is get yourself registered as an artist, as a writer, and as a publisher. 
if you're not signed, if you didn't drop no music, I don't see why you would be signed. So then, um, you know what I mean? Get that PRO set up. Then you set up your distribution. Where are you gonna? Where? How are you gonna drop your music? Is that is that the Distro Kids and all that Distro stuff? Distro Kid, TuneCore. You know what I mean? They're all not the, paying me company. checks, so I'm not gonna yeah, recommend yeah. one. But all of them, you know what I mean? Pretty much do the so same. Get the thing. checks going. We recommend your ass. You know what I'm saying? Guru, tu, tu. Claro, claro. Si nos si no mandan a nosotros, de una vez recomendamos. Llévate a nosotros. Dice que de su manda el cheque para que tú veas cómo estamos una promo durísima. Te, amo, te, te hacemos un video, una película de promo para que tenga una idea. Mm-hmm. Pues si ustedes quieren, es obligado. Nah, yeah. So after the distribution, it's just making sure your music is right, man. Making sure the mix is right. And I feel like that comes with establishing that team. Like, not everybody's going to have a team, but at least have a producer engineer that has your best interest like you know what i mean what you want what you want to sound like as an artist what you're creating you don't want the stresses like oh i gotta make sure my voice is right i gotta make sure the beat is right no nah, let them let them do deal their with job. that yeah you know what i mean and that's what's important do, do, you, do you you as a producer do you struggle with sometimes you believing that maybe an artist should sound a different way from the sound that they want uh i feel like i feel like i can get an artist to sound their best you know what I mean? And my job is to make sure that they sound the best. You know what I mean? If if they're new and they're learning, there's nothing I can do. Experience is going to fix whatever they have missing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So they just got to keep going. They can't stop. Now, nah, but all right, hear me out. Hear me out. This is this is just negro being negro, right? Mm-hmm. So, Annoying. me negro, I want to sound a certain way, right? I want to sound, which will never happen in my life, even if I could, Right? Let's say I want to sound like an Anuel, for example. Like mm-hmm. this why, is the why. Him? I know. I don't know. I'm just. I'm putting he the example. So garb. Hit me up. Lift the hat. Let me see. Let me see if you're halfway there. No. Oh, he, casi, he casi, 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 if you would say safety brackets like that. like What, do, what does that mean, safety brackets? I use it as an analogy. Like, if I know you don't sound right, I'm going to tell you, nah, that's not, that's not, I don't think that's going to be your strength. You should try this. Let's try this and see how you sound. And and then, like, sometimes they take it. Sometimes they leave it right there with me. And then later they come back. They always do. They come back. Yo, you was right. Da, 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 da. They Yo, lo, tenía que hacerte caso, loco. The thing is, as an yeah, artist, what's bueno. most important is doing what you feel is right. Right, because if you're sitting there trying to like uh, uh, complacer este tipo, this chick, so or whatever, many, with so the, your music, you're never gonna get anywhere. You gotta find your own peaceful balance in in what you want to do, like your artistry. You know what I mean? Just like how I make my beats. No one's gonna tell me how to make my beats. Like it's my beats. You know what I mean? Yeah, I like you. I I ask you this question because um I struggle personally with a lot of artists that put up music. And this is also, again, this is just Negro's perspective on this. I think a lot of them sound trash, okay. right? And I also question, I like, like, how does a producer allow this artist to walk out of their studio, them believing that they sound good, right? Because that's my, that's my issue, because they mm-hmm. actually think that they sound good, right? Mm-hmm. So, and I, and I ask you this question because I, I've always asked producer this because, like, yo, how, you know, I get... I get that we got to pay light. You know what I mean? We got to pay, you know, the space more now, right? But at a certain point, you know, like, when does your craft matter more than sustaining it, right? Because mm-hmm. it's, to me, I feel like i rather, I rather tell a nigga, yo, go to Negro's fucking sala on the other side that only has a computer and one mic and doesn't have none of the soundproof and none of those things, but you're going to sound as best as you can and it's going to be the right way to go it, then go to the fucking $3,000 studio and that nigga's just going to be, yes, 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 that's what you sound good. All right, cool, here you go. Do me entendiendo? Yeah. Like, so I, I always ask producer that because I feel like sometimes it's a, it's a t- it's a tough kind of sort to be in between, right? Where it's like, yo, you know, do I worry about the progress of an artist who has potential and can go somewhere or do I worry about me being able to cover my side of the of the book? Yeah. You know, I feel like as a producer, you just kind of know that threshold. You know what I mean? Sometimes even with your your recommendation or suggestions to an artist, they're gonna still take their own way, and you can't. What you can't do is stun the creativity of an artist. What does that mean? That means like if they're in a certain vibe and they're excited to record a song, let them record the song. 
Because later you can go back and like, look, see these parts, you got to fix this. This is what sounds like wacky. Let's change it up. Let's change this part. And then that's how they go learning. You know what I mean? It, it, no one walks into the studio for the first time and make a, a billboard number one. No one walks in for the second time and makes a billboard number one. I feel like that builds over time. So, like, I do, like you said, I am astonished when an established artist, an A-list, a B-list artist, people that are out there selling out shows, they bring they bring out some hot garbage. Like it's really hot surprising. garbage. That's that's a good one. That's sure. a good one. Hot garbage because I've heard a lot of that. Steaming, nasty. Yeah, that shit is just, just terrible. But just like that, man. Sometimes <clears throat> as a producer too, your hands are tied. Diablo. Do you think? Do you think that's more of a cockiness, like my ego type shit? You can't go through the music industry with ego. No, but you think that happens to like established artists because of that? Do they get into that bag? Like you say, el papá logo. Nah, yeah, I mean, I'm him, him at the dot com. There's definitely there's definitely factors. Uh, you know what I mean? I would say I guess I'm speaking for myself when I say no ego in the music industry because guys definitely have egos, especially if they reach certain heights. Mm. So that may get in the way. That may get in the way of their opportunities, but you know, ego, like I said, and many other and many other interviews and stuff like that, that is like ego is poison. You know what I mean? It burns bridges. You don't even see like you, there could be a play planned out for you tomorrow that you won't know, but if you're a certain way, that shit goes away. Bro. Te voy a calentar, mami. Te voy a calentar. Uy, uy, uy. I'm going to get you in trouble, mami. Uy, uy, uy. Uh-oh. Tell me. <laughs> Aquí viene la pregunta que te dijo el PR. One situation where you was working with an artist, and after that session you was like, hell no, I'm <laughs> never working with this nigga again. <laughs> Oi, you, you. You gotta tell me the story. You don't gotta say names. You don't gotta say names, but he knows the story. He he, don't know who the fuck he is. He laughs. He laughs. He knows the moment. He laughs. He knows the moment already. He knows the moment already. Man, look. Sometimes artists show up. Here, go, here he go lally gagging, bro. Nah, nah, nah. Let me, let me. Sometimes. Let, nah, 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 nah. Let, let, let me elaborate. Let him say it. Let him say it. Let him say it. Nah. So like, sometimes it could be artist or producer. You know what I mean? In this case, I'm not gonna specify. But sometimes people just show up to the studio, right? Let's say I'm working with you. Let's say I'm, it's not my beat that's getting recorded on. It's somebody else's beat. And sometimes dudes just overcompensate. Let's say, for example, they see me as a, a person of status or whatever. And they show up to the studio just amped up, like, trying to impress me. Or, like, even in the artist's case, trying to impress me so much that it, like, kind of turns me off. And just like, but why are you trying so hard? You don't have to. If you're already here, you're here for a reason, right? Yeah. So a like, one. me, I my shit that kills me with any artist or producer really is a, like, it's okay to be confident and in public and in like when you're doing shows to to have that arrogance. But when you walk into a studio, especially when you, you let's say you look at someone with me with respect, collaborating, yeah, collaborating, looking at me with respect. Don't come in here trying to do too much. Cause now it just feels like, bro, you're trying too much. Like you know what I mean, and that shit automatically be like, nah, I ain't working with this dude. Cause this dude is just a eh, lambonazo. Like that, they feel like a lambonazo as shit. So, one story that I do have is like, I had, I had an artist come to my studio, and the dude was just like talking. He was there with his manager and everything. He walks in and he's doing all the talking. And I found that very weird because, like, the manager is kind of like the, the buffer between the you business, the artist, the producer. So he's supposed to be the one talking to terms with me. And the artist is telling me all this stuff, like, oh, like, he's the hottest of this, not the hottest of this city, or whatnot, and woo woo. And he's been played on the radio or whatnot. And it's funny because, in the back of my mind, I know a lot, my background, I know a lot about the radio, I know a lot about how the clubs go and stuff like that. And I just like looked at him when I asked him, when were you played on the radio? And he said, Sunday night. I kind of looked at him and I'm like, well, that's not major. Not knocking any new artist that gets their music played on Saturday, on Sunday nights because, you know what I mean, Drewski does big love for Jersey and shit like that. But it's just the, the show he was trying to sell me, he didn't sell me because I already knew. Mm. It's like when you don't kind of don't know who you're talking to, like that. You know what I mean? So... Esos ratings no cuentan, olvídate el mundo. Yeah, so like you talk the big talk, 
I rather your music do the big talk than you come into my like come into my space and make a big talk. Like try to sell me. Like don't try oh, to sell, sell me. Sell me on show you. Me. Show, show me. That you, that. That you, you. you know show me that you. Show me that you Himothy. Facts. You know what I'm saying the music gonna talk by itself. Like and, and you don't gotta talk too much, barking too much. And then I th- on top of that, his manager didn't say a word until after. So what am I supposed to do that in that situation? I know that the artist is gonna be running all over the manager. If I have some sort of business agreement, that shit's going to get fucked up. So, hell no, I ain't doing that. De hablar tanta mierda, now, that's, I mean, that's, that's, a good, that's a good point to bring up, right? Like, you as a producer, right? What are your, your top recommendations for a manager that's dealing with an artist, right? Like, you know, when it, comes to, when it comes to presentation, when it comes to, like, EPKs, when it comes to just kind of approaching a producer that maybe is at a high standard, you know, what would you recommend a manager to do to get to, like, a producer that they want to work with? So I think it's all about networking for sure. Um, producers at higher levels, lower levels, whatever, starting out. Um, I feel like the most important thing is understanding where that producer wants to go. You know what I mean? What does what, that mean? What, like their trajectory. Like, do they want to make closet music? Do they want to make big, big arena music? Do they want to make radio hits? You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, a producer makes half of the song. No matter what. The song does not exist without the producer. Normalito. You know what I mean? So the artist is the complement to the to, to already what the idea of the beat was. You know what I mean? They create the song. They create the story on the canvas. Mm. Right? So when as if I'm an artist and I'm looking for a producer for my artist, I'm going to listen to what my artist's strength is. All right, you're best paired with this producer. You know what I mean? Because also... It's just, it's just music. It's a do lot you, of. Do you do you think producers have um like um, and I'm, I I don't know. I I think the answer is yes to this. But like, do you think producers have like certain genres that they just should stick to? I think every producer should do every genre at least try it because getting stuck in a pigeon in a pigeonhole is not the way to go because you're only gonna be able to be good at one thing. You know what I mean? If you do multiple things, now you're useful. In many rooms versus only being in the trap room, the fucking hard shit de la calle, or only being in the Latin room where you only could do dembo or whatever the fuck, or being only you know Afro beats. It's, but but oye, 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 me pregunta, right? So like, it's like saying like, I right, if I want to make a reggaeton beat, mm-hmm. you know, who's the first five? Who's the three producers that come to your mind? Shit, man. I honestly, I, I wouldn't know off the top of my head if I do my research, but I I know anybody that works with any of the Puerto Rican artists, they are the ones to go to. All right, cool. But say anybody who wants to do a hip hop beat, not hip hop beat, let's say a trap beat. Who are the top producers that come to mind? Go anywhere in Atlanta, you're gonna find what you Boom. need. Okay, you so you see where I'm getting at? So like, my, that's that's kind of like where I'm going at, right? So like, mm-hmm. you as a manager, right? So do do you then start saying, hey, since my artist is in this realm? Right? Should I go to X location or do I go to X producers because they're known for this beat? Yeah. Because I mean, you see what I'm getting at? It's for the style, not for the beat. Because okay, anybody style, can style, make okay. the same type of beats, but the style. Style. Okay, that's matters. maybe maybe that was the question for you. Okay, cool. Because you know I mean? anybody right. can make Detroit beats. Everybody, a thousand, I know a thousand niggas that make Detroit beats. I know a thousand niggas that make Jersey Club. A thousand niggas that make fucking Dembo. But who doing it right? Who doing it the best? You know what I mean, and that's what matters. That's that's also up to the artist. That's up to the artist, really. Amen. Amen. All right, hey, uh, my man. No, antes que lleguemos, antes que lleguemos, todavía tengo preguntas. Antes que trying to get me fucked up. I'm trying. I'm trying to see if you can survive. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna survive. That's why I'm asking the question now. Okay. Um, <laughs> Crazy. Um, crazy. yo, so yo, er, early before we started recording, you saw you were talking about um, Shake the Block. Um, what's your relationship with them? Um, what's coming up and like how you know how did that how did that trajectory happen? Nah, yeah, man. So, like I said, I think I was saying earlier that like putting things together, like for my show, that's my goal, right? But I've been doing that for a while now, just putting things together, and that situation happened because I put together a session that led for them to get. They're, they to focus on me, you know okay. what I mean? So, you know what I mean? I am part of the Shake the Block family, Shake the Block music. Um, Bobby Trends, you know, he's my manager. All the DJs are family. Big love to them and stuff all through New York, uh, Miami, and in Jersey, you know what I mean? But, Shout uh, out to uh, Fast Life, Stay Lifted. Uh, Blue Diamond. Blue Diamond, Shake the Block también. Mm-hmm. Uh, DJ Pipe, too. Pipe. Oh, shit, Pipe, Pipe is Shake the Block. Pipe. I totally forgot that. Elio. Elio. Star. 
Flip. Yeah. Cass. Flip's the one I don't like. Oh. No, 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 that's not the one that you don't like. That's not the one. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's his, his, his performance. Like, nah, nah, I'm just. No, nah, no, nah, Flip Star is not, it's not Flip Star. Okay. You, you don't like his pinking. Yeah, it's a oh, thing. Yeah, yeah. Or, he, he has like this thing. <laughs> nah, it's no, all good, man. No, no me deja bailar, loco. No me deja bailar. Si tú eres un DJ y no me deja bailar, no te gusta. No me gusta. Don't, don't, no te vayas en gol. No te vayas en gol. Uh, anyways, so, how, you know, how, how did you come up to like, you know, be there and like, you know, what's, what's the plan with that? Nah, yeah. So I mean, I feel like um, Bobby saw some talent in what I was, what I had going on, and you know, Bobby's been around for a while. He's he's a vet, man. D- damn near low key a legend. You know what I mean? Especially for you know New York and New Jersey tri-state area. Um, he's up at Hot 97 doing his thing, uh, right under uh, Funk Flex as his you know big homie. Um, but the plans are, you know, what I mean, to build the structure behind the Shake the Block team to have our own records come out and work with these artists that are, you know what I mean, making a buzz and even bring artists out of the woods. Like, you know what I mean, artists that haven't been around for a while or just starting, you know what I mean? We're just going to try to bring everything together and make everything make sense, you know what I mean? We're trying to make a sound, you know what I mean? We'll shake the block. So it's a team effort, you know what I mean? The DJs, us, and then, you know what I mean, everything else. So Dope, 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 dope. Yeah, shout out to that boy, uh, to yeah. Bobby. I know Bobby since 2000. 13, 14? Should I shake the block, man? Yeah, yeah. Cuando, let's let's yeah, really yeah, shake yeah. the block, though. Come on. I, 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 cuando yo, cuando yo, let's shake the block for real. Cuando yo era promotor yeah, in Nueva York, saying? cuando yo era promotor in Nueva York, me tiraba fotos con Bobby. El de lo mío. El Bobby. El Bobby. No, peace out, Bobby. <laughs> eh, so. my mate. Tienes dos muertes ya. Te has muerto dos veces. Oh, yeah, if you get this wrong, espérate, the podcast espérate. over, by the way. Damn. Te has muerto dos veces. Si la cagas en esta, se acabó el podcast. Damn. Damn. That, that's how this works. That, that, remember I told you three lives? Yeah. It's the last one, baby. You, it's like you're playing Mario, right? Once you get that third life and you're dead, it's, it's over. over. You got to start. I Super Nintendo like three times playing that Because game. of that well, shit. You're about just to, make sure you're, not you're to break my team. You're about to break my team. Oh, fuck. Dale, negro. All Película. Right. Movie. Let's oh, see. Up. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. <laughs> No serve it, just serve it. No just crazy, serve it. bro. No, no faith, faith at all. Man. Hear me out, hear me out. Listen to me. I'm an honest nigga. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm an honest nigga. Yeah. Like, I look at these questions and listen to me. If I was in your shoes right now, I'd be like, what the fuck is this nigga talking about? Yeah, I didn't shuffle the cards. That's what happened. <laughs> yeah, I didn't shuffle the fucking cards. No, we sh- it we, don't matter. We shuffle the cards every time before we put them away. All right, so here we go. Manito, if you got this right, <laughs> you, you'll go. Me, you'll go. I'll give you that. If you'll go. Count Dooku. <laughs> exactly. Se cagó la mierda. Hacho, papi, está terminando ya. Exactly. Count Dooku is a character from what movie? Yeah, actually, I heard Count actually, Dooku, nigga. That's... Actually, based on the options, you might be able to figure this one out now that yeah. I think about it. Okay. A, Attack of the Clones. B, Star Trek. C, Avatar. Attack of the Clones. Is A, Attack of the Clones your final answer? Yes. Applause! Yeah! Well, guess what? That's only because I went guess to Disney what? World, nigga. You want to do rapid mode on him? It's rapid already. You want to do rapid mode on him? Rapid. Uh, before we do rapid mode, before we do rapid mode, um, do you got anything coming up that's like highly important that you want to talk about? After he dies, bro. Nah, nah, nah. I believe in him. I believe in him. I believe, I believe that he's going to die, so that's what I'm asking. <laughs> All right, fuck it. I'll plug it now. Yo, yeah. man made, I'm here. I got my studio open up in Bloomfield, the oh, back room. That shit fire. You know what I mean? Big right, vibes right, in right. there. You know what I mean? You pull up. Bookings are open now. So just go on Instagram of the um, backroom.nj. Go in there. You can book. I also got the show coming up. You know what I mean? Mad Minds concert, their takeover shit. Man made and friends gonna be there. You know what I mean? It's gonna be a show. So don't I'm one of the it. friends. Yo, facts. One of the friends. Facts. One of the friends. Creeping will be in the building. With Many a camera friends. in my hand. Okay, make sure. Start wrapping it up. Start wrapping it up. Yeah, I already know, man. So Cause we'll be there. Gang gang. Because this is it's over on this one. Um which of these is not allowed in ice dancing? Ball. <laughs> Oh, you, you, you. Oh, You'd be oh. surprised. I think I, I watched a documentary on this before. Oh, a whoa, whoa, whoa. Sp- oh, oh. A spins, B throws, C hydroblading. 
Which of these is not allowed in ice dancing? Repeat the first two. A spins, B throws, C hydroblading. Is B. Is B throws your final answer? Yes. Hey! hey! That was my mate. Hey, hey, he coming hey. with the comeback, with baby. The comeback season. Comeback music, season. Let's go, let's go Come, comeback. Let's comeback go season. Come, comeback you, season. I told you, I you, believe, you, 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 you. I'm ready, man. What's up? All right. I'm heating up, baby. Uh, this is a tough one because like you should know this, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure if you're gonna know this. All right, let's go. All right. Which artist sold the most CDs in the year 2006? 16. 2016, I'm sorry. 2016. A Mozart. B Drake. C Adele. Puka, por favor. I'm gonna go with C. Is C Adele your final answer? Yeah. Fue un placer tenerte aquí, mi hermano. Oh. Fue eh, un placer. Pl plug in your, plug in your <laughs> IG. Fuck. Plug in your IG. And if you have a Spotify, también para que vayan a darle play a la vaina tuya también. No, facts. My, my Instagram is uh, P-R-O-D by Man Made. You know what I mean? Spotify is just Man Made, two capital M's. Because we making millions. You already know, man. It was a pleasure to be here. Manito, un placer. Oh. Eh, vamos a agarrarnos de aquí. Que... Hey. Okay. Primero que todo, que el back, el back room tenga muchísimo artista. Vayan para allá. Yes, Book your sessions, you know what I'm saying? Hip Segundo, factory. que el show se dé bueno para que haga uno él solo, ¿verdad? Y tercero, let's shake the fucking block, baby. Let's shake go. Here we go, baby. Salud. Uy, Yo soy Crippin Film. Yo soy Jorge Alaire. Y esto es Al Oscuro. ¡Te veo! 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 